During yesterday's Rules Committee meeting, we heard testimony from my friend and distinguished colleague from Louisiana, Mr. Gao, regarding a proposed amendment that he wished uh, to have the House uh, debate today. His amendment would extend the time for making low-income housing credit allocations under the Gulf Opportunity Zone Act by two years. According to Mr. Gao, this extension is needed to preserve the availability of financing for affordable housing projects in the Gulf states. This amendment is just another example of Mr. Gao's thoughtful efforts continuously on behalf of his consti constituents. Unfortunately, the majority on the Rules Committee decided that once again they would block all amendments from consideration, including Mr. Gao's, as well as amendments uh, submitted for consideration by Mr. Brady, Mr. Reichert, and Mr. Jeff Davis of Kentucky. It's unfortunate that the majority continuously closes down the process and blocks consideration of amendments, uh, and yet, uh, the Speaker, they campaigned on the promise of openness. Uh, they, they, they said they would open this process as uh, uh, it had never before been opened, that there, would be, that there would be a transparency that had never before been seen. What we've seen, in exact, we've, what we've seen is exactly the opposite. They've closed the process like never before. The majority should have allowed consideration of all the amendments to the, legis to the legislation that were submitted before the Rules Committee, Mr. Speaker. I reserve the balance.